What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Ah, guys, basketball players and athletes. You know, I, I've, I've noticed this about these entertainment guys. And it kind of remind me of the mentality of drug dealers. Drug dealers who make an exorbitant amount of money believe that they're so powerful and on top of the world that they can never fall off. Okay? That's kind of the mentality of many people who are living in their prime. They're on top of the world. Everybody loves them. You know, very similar to some of the IG models. They feel like their demise can never come. Although, clearly, they witness the demise of other people all the time. But they don't think that applies to them at all. It doesn't, you know? So it doesn't apply to them. Up until it applies to them. So when things happen to other people, bad things happen to other people, you know, these guys can't make the transition in their mind to say, well, shit, if that happened to this guy, it's very possible that's going to happen to me because it happened to him. So if it happened to him and we're in the same industry, I should probably not engage in that. No, here's what people think. People feel like, you know what? He just ain't got no game. So he ain't me. I'm not him. So look, you know, that's on him because, you know, I know I got some mouthpiece. That's 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 what Negroes would do. Right now, DeAndre Ayton was the number one pick of the 2018 NBA draft. Zion Williamson was the number one pick of the 2019 NBA draft. So just one year apart. Clearly, DeAndre Ayton knows about Zion Williamson or even knows him personally. We all saw what happened with Zion Williamson and Mariah um, Mills. It's clear as day. The whole world saw it. These lies, these situations, you know, um, he ended up getting somebody else pregnant, but this chick was a side chick. She's literally out to destroy the guy. Okay. DeAndre Aiken should have looked and said, shoot, I'm a young guy. I got my career, everything I'm, I'm working for. You know, um, I don't need that kind of drama in my life. You know, I'm with a good organization with the Phoenix Suns. Let me let me not make that mistake. Let me leave, you know, ladies who have nothing to lose alone. Nope, but DeAndre Ayton says, no, that's not me. Um, I'm going to go ahead on and do the same thing that Zion did even more blindly. So instead of having her uh, as a side chick, her name is Leah, a porn star. I'm actually going to actually get her pregnant. Okay. So here's, <laughs> here's what she's saying now. She got pregnant by him. Now there is a video of him brushing her hair and things like that. And now he's out here trying to deny the paternity. But we, we all know that you put it out there that you were smashing. Okay. You, you don't, you don't want that. Now he had a girlfriend, uh, but it was Anissa or Anissa, whatever like that. They never broke up. But then what happened was she actually put those pictures out. So allegedly he has a girlfriend. Now she's saying that she's pregnant. He's saying that it's not. But then again, here you are dealing with somebody who don't got nothing to lose. And this is what Wags Unfilter says. The source says Kat got pregnant on vacation and apparently he was drunk high when they had intercourse. The source also proceeded to say he didn't want those pictures out uh, she put those pictures and videos out because Anissa and her family are back in his home and Anissa and DeAndre never broke up. Her and her sisters are inside the house right now. Kat was so mad she thought DeAndre would leave Anissa. It will soon come to life. Okay. 
So you're dealing with another chick. You have a girlfriend. You're smashing her on the side. Now you take a picture with this chick and you let this chick post a picture of you. And if you look at this chick, it's typical. BBLs, fake behind, blonde weave, purple weave, purple hair. And then all of a sudden, when the chick goes and does silly things like this, here comes the brothers. Man, she's shady. She a 304. My, my grandma used to always tell me, if you play with a puppy, it will lick you in the mouth. If you play with a puppy, it will lick you in the mouth. What does that actually mean, guys? It means that you're going to F around and find out. You don't think that fat meat is greasy. If you're doing one action, you're going to get the consequence of that action. And a lot of guys that have money, I'm going to tell you, a lot of young brothers just don't have mentorship. And this is something that guys got to understand. You believe because you have money, you have wealth, you have some level of notoriety that somehow, some way you can just do a lot of things that don't make sense. You can just do silly things that don't make any sense. This is what you can do. You can do it and it's completely okay for you to get away with those actions because you can do it because nobody's going to challenge you. And you know, a lot of guys got to understand you have women, women are talking to you. They're basically letting you do whatever they're accessible to you. So now you got money. These are the same chicks who would never deal with you before, but they're dealing with you now. So now it's like, okay, you know, I should be able to be able to get this going on. I should be able to get this popping. I should be able to do X, Y, and Z. It is completely okay. And these chicks love me, but bro, like, like they're not you. I keep telling you guys, you are the ones that have worked all your life to be who you are. Okay. That's you. You've worked to be who you are in this life. It's been you as a man that's playing sports or you're in business or, and, and, and when you was broke, didn't nobody like you. Nobody wanted you, bro. Okay. Nobody wanted you. Nobody cared about you. All right. It's been you the whole time. All right. It's been you. It's been you out there on the bus. It's been you out there here and there it's been you out there suffering everything you've done in your life it's been you now this person didn't have to do anything you had to work that hard to get her which is you worked all that hard to get her who could never give you anything but this is what you had to do how was that ever a fair exchange what did you gain from that then you go out there and a person who don't have nothing to lose, they don't want to contribute to their own life because they're not because they, they don't have nothing. But now for you as a man, somehow you need to risk your own stuff to deal with them and to pay them to destroy your life. So many men are paying women to destroy their life. Like, Hey, listen, I want to give you money to destroy what I do. I would love to pay you to destroy everything that I have going on. Like, this is what I need. I need you to do that. Please. You are the person that I want to give all my money to, to destroy what I have going on. I want you to expose me. I want you to get pregnant. Then once it happens, I'll start blaming other people, bro. Don't you know when you get money, everybody's after you. Don't you know when you start doing well, people hate you. People are lazy. People don't want to work. People want to take advantage of what you're doing because you have it and they don't. Women, men, family, everybody's coming. There's not anybody who's not coming. They're all coming because they're lazy. They're untalented. They're sick. They're sorry. They're dusty. They're broke. They're poor. They're all coming and you can't be there with them. You have to live a different level of lifestyle than them because they are not supposed to be there. But so many times here we are letting people in our, in our spaces that don't need to be there and we let them there. And then when we get, when they're there, we get mad when they're there, we want to start fighting.
when they're there, when they're there, we want to get angry. But they shouldn't be there in the first place. They don't deserve to be there. Leave them where you found. Matter of fact, you shouldn't even find them. Leave them where they at now. Because all they're going to be doing is two things. Destroying their life and destroying somebody else's life. And it's better somebody else than you. Let them keep all that sloppy sex and whatever they got. Look, man, you, you can get that with somebody who wants to add value to you. Okay. How much booty do you need? I mean, and, and, and at that way, ain't talking about no real behind. We're talking about something that's plastic. You know, like all they got to do is go and buy a fake butt and they can get to you. So guys, what do you think it's your boy? O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again for the episode of the Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all you just heard the bell. We're out.